players. It's a special event for the fans. Um, um, and, and, and I think Wayne said it earlier, and, and, and I completely agree with him that, uh, you know, the biggest uh, and the most important part of our game is, uh, is our tradition and history. And uh, I grew up Saturday night, hockey night in Canada, watching those players, dreaming of being an NHL player, idolizing the players. You know, I know uh, players grew up watching myself and Wayne and uh, doing the same thing, and the, and, the, and the tradition just gets handed off from one generation to the next. And, to have that much, uh, 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 you know, history and tradition all on one stage, all in one time tonight, there is uh, is uh, is an incredible uh, achievement by the NHL. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Mark, just certain memories of your. I was just gonna say, did you ever, in your wildest dreams, think that hockey would be in Las Vegas of all things? Just a few thoughts on that. Yeah, uh, you know, I think uh, when Wayne uh, came to LA, it uh, opened up the opportunity for a lot of, uh, and created the opportunity for a lot of. Uh, uh, cities to become an NHL franchise, uh, not only the cities, but also created a tremendous amount of opportunity for kids to start to play hockey and to dream of being an NHL player there. So does it surprise me? Uh, no, hockey is a global game. You can play hockey anywhere. Uh, and uh, and I think that just shows you that the lack or the, uh, the amount of passion that there is uh, for a game all over the world and certainly in the southern states. What are probably the biggest challenges with having a franchise in Vegas? Maybe just getting the word out, uh, educating the people on what the game is, or what do you think? I think so. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, that, that that's going to be the easy part. I think, uh, I don't think it's going to be any different than going to any other city. I think there's, uh, down in Florida, there's many northern people there that grew up with hockey living down there. Uh, there's many people that live in Las Vegas there that uh, probably came from uh, a northern uh, city that had hockey growing up uh, so i don't look at that as being a challenge there i look at it as just being a challenge of being like any other uh, f uh, franchise that uh, an expansion team that came in there and trying to get a footing trying to create a culture and uh and ma make yourself known uh, around the world and uh, but i don't see the city being that, that challenge in that regard Mark, what kind of memories flood back to you when you come to an event like this and share the stage with such great well, I uh, grew up watching a lot of these players uh, on TV, grew up playing against a lot of these players on TV, uh, grew up uh, playing with a lot of these players. And uh, so you talk about one big, long walk in memory. Uh, everywhere you look, you look at someone that you uh, competed with, played with. Uh, so that, from that regard, uh, it's like taking a walk down uh, memory lane 20 for 26 years.